Hey y'all, it's V Baby Takes, and today we are going to be taking on bidding. I know as a reserve, it can be a bit hard to know how to get it down, no matter what airline you're at. Um, like I told you, I have been at two different airlines. The way we bid is completely different, but hard nonetheless. I'm here to help you to make it a bit easier. Let's go. So the first thing I always do, no matter what month it is, is I look at the upcoming month. I write down all of the dates that I know I need off. I prioritize them on what I really, really, really need off and then what I would kind of like to have off, but it's okay if I don't get it. So once I have those dates in mind, I write them down on my notes. Usually I just pull up my calendar on my laptop. So I use my phone and my laptop to see the whole month. I can see the month as a whole. I know that these are the dates that I have something going on. So ideally I would not be requesting to work on that day. At my last company, we only ever requested the days off we wanted. At this company, we request an entire, they give us a list of packages of months and how our month would look. And we prioritize those those dates if that makes sense. Now my last airline easy all you do is preference for the days you want off so I would just you know I want this day off this is my higher this is something I really need off and the lower ones are just if I get it off it's cool if I don't. Well, with my current main line what I do then is log on to my you know system that I bid on and then I pull up all of the bid packets after I have written down all of the dates I want off, I start three different tiers. Those tiers are going to be thing, the packets I really want, the packets I, I'm okay with, but they don't fit all of the requirements I need. And then the last ones are just, I really don't want this, but I don't want them to give me just anything. So I'm gonna put something down to say I had some kind of control over it. So now, my monthly calendar, my personal calendar is up and my bid packets are now up on my computer. <laughs> and then I have my other phone open on my notes app with all of my three tiers, like I said. So now with my bid packets open, I comb through all of my reserve lines and I only look for the the lines that have every single day that I know I want off, both need and want off. So I write those down in the order that I want them. My second tier now is going to be looking for all of the lines that have the dates that I only just need off, but don't have the ones that I would really like off, if that makes sense. So those days off, you have already prioritized them from need to want. My second tier that I make on the list for myself is just the days that I need, but not all of the days that I want. Write those down. No. <laughs> My third tier, I am combing through the lines that have some of the dates that I really need, maybe, maybe not, but they're in a way that I would want them to be. So. I like having all my days off at once, if that makes sense. I don't like having just two days off. So I know I have to have at least three days off at a time. These are the ones that I might sacrifice even if I don't get the day I need off. Hey, at least I got these five days off in a row because that's what I want. Some people don't want that. Some people want to work six day buckets or some people only wanna work three days out of the week. That's fine this is the tier that you are going to write those dates or sorry those lines that have only those three days on for the week for every week regardless of the days you want off at this point you should have a whole list of lines listed on here from tier one tier two tier three obviously first tier is the most ones you want tier two is just like i'm happy if i get it tier three is I'm okay if I get it. I don't want it really, but I'd rather me choose the ones that I want than they give me something that I really don't want. Then we're gonna go onto our system, whatever system that takes in our bidding. We are going to list all of those bids or those lines that we want. And then depending on how you do it, sometimes I list them out in the order I want them, 
or I'll pull all the lines and then I'll move them in the number order that I would like them to be. Now, depending on your company, some people say to always bid for a hard line, always dream bid, bid how you would really like it to go. If you were to get a hard line, you don't know um, if it's possible for that month, it's possible. So some would uh, recommend that you first bid hard line, then bid relief line, then bid reserve line. It really is up to you and your company. So everything I suggested to you was just bidding for a reserve line. If I am gonna bid for a relief line, I always tell them the dates that I have to have off regardless. They do say that it, um, if you were to get a relief line, it limits you because if there's a day that they want you to work and you don't wanna work, they'll give it to somebody else. But I run a business, I have to have certain days off. If you're just open, bid for everything girl or guy. I know it can be really difficult to even conceptualize. I tried to try to tried. I tried to try to make it as simple as possible, but those are some of the things that have just helped me be able to bid. And usually I always get my top five to 10 lines that I wanted. Obviously this has to do with seniority, but even if you're not super senior and you're just junior, you're just starting out, still bid because you want the days off you want off or you want the number of days off at a time that you want some people do not want to work those six days in a row they want to work only three days in a row i know that four day trips are my max so it depends on what it is you like but i hope this helped you guys thank you for tuning in with me i'll be back on another time with v baby takes bye